The table below gives the percentage distribution of female teachers in the primary schools of rural areas of various states and union territories in India. Find the mean percentage of female teachers using all the three methods. So here it is given the number of female teachers and the number of union territories. If the teachers between 15 to 25 are available in six states and 25 to 35 in 11 states, 35 to 45 states, 35 to 45 teachers in seven states and 45 to 55 teachers in four states, 55 to 65 teachers in four states, 65 to 75 teachers in two states and 75 to 85 teachers in one state. So here we have this data and we have to find the mean using three methods. So the first one is direct method so for which the formula for mean is sigma of <coughs> fi xi by sigma of fi. The second method is assumed mean method. So in that we will use the formula of a plus sigma of fi di by sigma of fi. The third one is <coughs> step deviation method. The formula for this a plus h into sigma of fi ui by fi. So the number of states can be considered as fi. So we have fi <coughs> in common as denominator and xi we have to find the average of the teachers which is class interval x uh, 15 plus 25 by 2, 25 plus 35 by 2. So like that we will get xi. In the second formula we have a, a is nothing but the assumed mean. So we have to assume a mean among the class intervals and di is the deviation xi minus a and in the third formula we have h and ui h is <coughs> the class interval or the greatest common divisor among the xi. So here you can select a as assumed mean. So first we will find the average of class intervals which is 15 plus 25 by 2 is 20, 25 plus 35 by 2 is 30, 35 plus 45 by 2 is 40, 45 plus 55 by 2 is 50, 55 plus 65 by 2 is 60 and 65 plus 75 by 2 is 70, 75 plus 85 by 2 is 80. So we will find the assumed mean. So for that we will take the middle terms. So we will eliminate the terms. So last two terms and uh, last three terms. So we have the middle term as 50. So we will assume the mean as 50. So we have A is equals to 50 and the <coughs> size of the class which is 25 minus 15 or 35 minus 25 is equals to 10. So we will assume we will take H as 10. And di is xi minus a which is xi minus 15 and ui is xi minus a by h. So xi minus 50 by h is 10. So we will calculate in this table. Now we have xi as average of these intervals which is 15 plus 25 by 2. It is 20 and 30. 35 plus 45 by 2 was 40 and 45 plus 55 by 2 is 50. 55 plus 65 by 2 is 60 and 65 plus 75 by 2 is 70 and 75 plus 85 by 2 is 80. Now we will consider this as assumed mean 50. Di is equals to xi minus a. So xi is in this column and a is constant which is 50. So 20 minus 50 is minus 30 <coughs> and 30 minus 50 is minus 20. Sorry we will calculate ui at the same time here. So ui is xi minus a by h. So h is 10. So we will divide this minus 30 with 10 that is minus 3 and fi xi means the product of 6 and 20 which is 120 and fi di means the product of 6 and minus 30. We will write it as 6 and minus 30 is minus 180 and we will calculate fi ui. fi ui is <coughs> fi is 6 and ui is minus 3 so that will be minus 18. Similarly second row xi minus a xi minus a is 30 minus 50 which is minus 20 and this will be minus 20 divided by 10 minus 2 fi xi is 11 into 30 that is 310 and fi di means 11 into minus 20 minus 220 and fi ui so 11 into ui is minus 2. So in all these three terms we have fi as common first product and second third products are one this is the for this is for this column 
FIXI and DI, we have to multiply this one and UI this one. So we will <coughs> consider it first. So here 50 minus 50 is 0 and after that 0, 200, 0 and 0. Again the other values. So now we will sum it up. Sigma of FIXI is 1390. If we add all this term that will be 1390. And Sigma of FIDI will be minus 360. And Sigma of FIUI will be Th minus 36. We will write, write all the terms necessary for the formulas which is sigma of fi is 35 and assumed mean is 50 and h is 10. Sigma of fi xi is 1390. Sigma of fi di is minus 360 and sigma of fi ui is equals to minus 36. Now we will apply in the formula of mean for the direct method which is sigma fi xi by sigma of fi so minus 1390 divided by 35 sorry 1390 divided by 35 so if we calculate this we can cancel with 5 table and all then we will get 39.71 now the formula for assumed mean is <coughs> x is equals to a plus sigma of fi di by sigma of fi so we have sigma of fi di as minus 360 Sigma of fi is 35 and a is assumed mean which is 50. So we can write it as 50 plus minus 360 divided by 35. So minus 360 divided by 35 is minus of 10.29. So 50 plus into minus is minus. So 50 minus 10.29 will be 37, 39.71. And the formula for mean using step deviation method is x bar is equals to a plus h into sigma of fi ui by sigma of fi. So a we have assumed mean which is 50 and h is 10 and sigma of fi ui is minus 36 and sigma of fi is 35. <coughs> so if we calculate this one second term, so you know, if we cancel this 2 7 times, so that will be 10 into minus 1 into so minus 1.029. So that will be minus 10.0. 29 so 50 minus 10.29 is 39.71 so we have the mean as 39.71 in all the cases sometimes we will have small difference but approximately the mean will be same in all the methods so therefore the mean percentage of female teachers in the primary schools of rural areas is 39.71